Well, this is what they've been striving for, and shortly it will become reality. Here on the Spanish capital, it's the UEFA Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined for commentary tonight by Lee Dixon, and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in the Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back let me run out there, please. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Vincent Company plays alongside Nicolas Sotomendi in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. With the capacity of almost 68,000, this is a fine football stadium, the Metropolitano here in Madrid. Yeah, I'm very envious of these modern players. They get to play in these really beautiful, beautiful new stadiums. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. David Luiz starts with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence. Cesc Fabregas plays with Pedro in the wide positions. And unusual to see him in this role, but it might work out. Willian is the lone striker. The date has been ringed in red for months now, and the stage is set here in the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is, of course, Lee Dixon. And we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the Magnificent. Can they get themselves in front here? Well, it was a horrific mistake, but the goalkeeper has made amends. Well, he's a happy boy now. Just look at the smile on his face. Two minutes ago, he wasn't so happy. Pedro. Chelsea happy to pass the ball around and get it forward. It's with David Silva. De Bruyne. The Champions League has become so important to Chelsea. Winners back. Perfect through ball from Sergio Aguero. And Sterling has it. Running towards goal. One man to beat. Aiden Hazard, one of the true stars of the European game. Lee, in what way will he contribute tonight? Well, he'll demand the ball. He wants the ball. He'll make runs off the ball. He gets into the box. He plays on the right, on the left. As a number 10, he's all over the place. What a player. Conte. This is Pedro. Not a bad. Can they convert? In it goes for Chelsea. It's all gone blue in the Champions League final. Well, I was excited with 0 0. Now they've gone in the lead. Chelsea, what can you do now? Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So the game has restarted, and Chelsea are the team with the lead. De Bruyne now. Aguero and Cesc Fabregas dispossessed Sterling crossing that's a routine take well, 
regaining possession for his and will it be the leveller and that's what they needed Manchester City a goal to level matters here Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Morata in possession. Pedro. Fabregas. Chelsea getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Jorginho. It's with Fabregas. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. I must say, no shortage of space. Now, what can he do here? Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. It's a weighted pass. Is it there for Morata? In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, the verdict is a penalty kick, and how important is this moment with the game level? Well, with a chance to go into the lead from 12 yards with a goalkeeper to beat, I'll take that any day. Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? <laughs> Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. is Pedro but I think it's fair to say Lee when you talk about teams that could win the UEFA Champions League Chelsea have to be in that conversation yeah absolutely they've forced themselves onto that platform now and quite rightly so and they're a team really really difficult to beat and they produce such exciting football at times as well Derek and now Kevin De Bruyne Cesc Fabregas on the ball Conte Morata Otamendi has it. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. And Aguero. Over the touchline for a throw in. Sterling. Sterling crossing. Well, the clearance half hearted. An attempt like that never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Now Mendy, Fernandinho with it. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Read it superbly to take back possession. De Bruyne. Pedro. Half time then. And we're sorry for the pause and the proceedings here, Lee, because this... <laughs> 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. And here is Fernandinho. And David Luiz gets in the way. Raheem Sterling! My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah. Aguero! Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. And a 
throw in for Manchester City it'll be it's with David Silva he's managed to lose his marker cross towards that far post still alive and another eye-catching performance tonight from Aidan Azar in the first half certainly Lee well Derek he certainly was a Kevin De Bruyne who now have squared it. Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. He doesn't hit the post and goes in. Keeper is distraught. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. It's with Fabregas. On the ball, Morata. Zane. And Manchester. And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one -one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, clattered away. Fernandinho with it. De Bruyne dispossessed. Aguero. David Silva! Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Rudiger, they're trying to get right into his face. Conte. Fernandinho with it. And getting the ball forward is the key for Manchester City here. Will there be any end product? He has plenty of support. Walker. David Silva. Sané has it. And up for grabs off the keeper. And the defender takes care of business. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Walker now. David Silva. And here's David Silva. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. And a throw-in it's going to be. 15 minutes remaining. Sergio Aguero has it. Fernandinho. Crucial block from David Luiz. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And that is offside. David Silva, De Bruyne, incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne, just straying offside. Across the touchline, so a throw in here. Azar.
An awful lot of green space to run into. De Bruyne now. Sterling has lost custody of it. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. And that seems to cross into the centre. Taking care of business defensively here. And clears his lines. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Pedro dispossessed. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. This has the potential to stretch sinews and minds. Tiredness can be a factor as the first period of extra time commences. Aiden Azar. It's with Fabregas. Conte has lost the ball. Jorginho. Morata. Fabregas. Aiden Azar. Oh, the block from Company. Aguero. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. David Silva has lost it. It is now with Jorginho. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Walker now. Given away by City. That's an exquisite pass from Gabriel Jesus. I must say he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there. Yeah, he wasted opportunity from the short distance. You see the manager's frustration on the touchline. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. A bit scruffy with the ball, Kovacic. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. So many now having to play through the pain barrier. Underway in the second period of extra time. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Azar on the ball. Challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And the referee decided that intervention was illegal and cautionable. Oh, without question, it was not the best of challenges. Short and along the ground. The ball with Marcos Alonso. And now here's Aiden Azar. And a very good challenge. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. Given away by City. Inside the final five minutes of extra time. And a penalty shootout might well be in this game's future. Can they win it right here? Well, it might still work out for them. It's a weighted pass. And he's in the clear. He's got acres of space. What a splendid volley it was, but denied by the frame of the goal. Well, he took the chance, didn't he? He swung his leg at it in a volley and he's hit the woodwork.
and the referee has added up Aguero a chance to settle it well they have the goalkeeper to thank for the fact that this game is still level well they can never drop their concentration good vision from Gabriel Jesus Leroy Zane and this time it's in Well, here's the replay. What a time to score, Derek. You've got to believe they're going to be home and homes now. Senior players talk to the youngsters. The game is nearly over. Having conceded then, it's up to Chelsea to articulate a response. The whistle goes in the final, and it will be a maiden Champions League trophy lift for Manchester City. The agony and the ecstasy. Well, growing up as a young boy, Derek, as a Manchester City fan, I never thought I would see this night. Champions League going to Manchester City. What a night. Forever in the shadow of Manchester United. Not this evening. Fully deserving, and any second now, these players will be presented with old big ears, as we sometimes call the trophy, Lee. Yeah, I love this trophy. It's one of my favourites, so big as well. Not so sure how heavy it is, never got that chance to lift it. But these players are going to get that chance tonight. The captain first. They've worked tirelessly, and now they have the Champions League trophy. Manchester City! What an achievement by all concerned. City, the best team in Europe. Well, that's the party to be at tonight. Definitely follow those players. And what would a celebration be without a chance to party with the fans? I always find it's a little bit disappointing. You can't take the trophy into the fans and let them touch it. Performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. I wonder who's in charge of the music tonight, Derek, at the party. I think you might be, given your connections with this club. Well, it's official. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.